Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. This is our final Sidra and Aliyah for this week, for uh, Friday, Saturday, our sixth and seventh Sidra of Kitavo, When You Come, taken from Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1, going all the way to chapter 29, verse 8. So, chapter 28, verses 1 through 6 says, If you listen closely, to what Adonai your God has said, observing and obeying all his commandments which I am giving you today, Adonai your God will raise you high above all the nations of the earth, and all the following blessings will be yours in abundance. If you do, so these blessings are contingent because of the word if, right? If you do what Adonai your God has said. Now, yesterday we talked about all the curses. They had to agree to the repercussions of the curses, which means the repercussion of breaking God's commandments, doing what God said not to do. And they said, amen, let these curses come upon us if we do these things God told us not to. But an interesting thing here, there's no amen for the blessing. I wonder why that is. A blessing on you in the city and a blessing on you in the countryside. A blessing on the fruit of your body and the fruit of your land and the fruit of your livestock, the young of your cattle and flocks, a blessing on your grain basket and kneading bowl, a blessing on you when you go out and a blessing when you come in. Why is there no amen for such a blessing? Because amen, so be it, let it happen. We want this to happen. So why is there no amen? Because it's contingent upon obedience. If you're not obeying, by default, you're disobeying. There's no straddling the fence here. So obedience is contingent uh, uh, you know, the blessings are contingent upon the upon obedience. So if you are obeying, you are silently saying by your actions, amen. Amen means that you are obeying and therefore you're going to get the blessing of these blessings if you obey. Boy, that sounded really weird and it came out really weird and I hope you get what I'm saying. Because in verse 2 it says, if you do what God, what Adonai your God says, in other words, if you obey my commands, if you obey me, he says, if you obey me, a blessing, verse three, a blessing, verse four, a blessing, verse five, a blessing, verse six. So the blessing comes through our obedience. We don't need to say amen to that because of our willingness to do it. It's already an amen in action. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.